All right, uh, what level are you? Oh. <laughs> okay, my bow is way too good. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc here on our cluster series. And today, we're going to be checking out the brand new Helena bot. <laughs> it's a uh, mini HLNA, which obviously stands for Helena. Uh, and it's a skin that goes onto your shield slot. And it doesn't actually replace a shield and it doesn't skin a shield. Although, I don't know what would happen if you tried to put a Manticore skin onto the shield if you've already got the Helena bot thingy out. I'm not exactly sure. So, this is going to be part of Arc Genesis. It's going to be part of, like, the main story in Arc Genesis where uh, after you do a bunch of stuff to save Earth, uh, Helena puts herself into a, like, a little robot form as a companion for you because she can't go where we are going. Um... So essentially, we're just going to have a little Helena bot that's going to walk us, like walk around, well not walk around with us, like travel around with us, uh, teach us things, and there's not going to be any explore notes or anything like that, probably no dossiers. I imagine when it comes to new creatures, she's going to scan them and then send you like a little, like a little uh, file or something like that, just so you can actually see. Uh, so right now, it's a little bit more of a basic version of the actual bot. Uh, eventually it's gonna talk a little bit more it's gonna like interact with the environment a lot more but for now it's gonna do just a few things <laughs> so hang on let's uh let's redo that she kind of sounds like tracer not gonna lie um so here it is it's really cool it doesn't provide really any benefits besides i think at nighttime uh i do believe it actually like lights up a little bit and we'll check that out later on um now, I do believe that other players will be able to see your little Helena bot, so on PvP, it's probably not the best idea to bring it around, because that's really obvious little beam behind you if, uh, if it's following you. Let's see, what happens if I do this? Oh, cool, we can, like, make a circular beam. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm kind of curious about a few things to do with it. Um, it kind of, like, avoids you just a little bit. Where are you going? <laughs> So, um, it interacts with you in a few different ways. Uh, I've actually seen, well, I guess I've heard a bunch of the, um, the little audio clips that she can make. And, uh, here's one of them, if I can poop. Oh, I can't poop. All right, we gotta wait a little bit. You know what, actually, let's just eat a bunch of food. Can I poop now? No, okay, I, we gotta wait a little bit for that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be... Okay, she's still talking to me for some reason. <laughs> We're going to be checking out just a bunch of different responses, trying to get a few responses out of her by doing different things. Where even is it? There it is. Okay. Kind of hard to find it sometimes. It like zips around quite a bit. Uh, but you can also paint them. Let's actually go ahead and start with that. Oh, that's kind of funny when I'm like using the tech elevator. It like just beams right beside me. All right. Let's see. So I've got a bunch of paint in here. Grab some cyan, uh, some green. And where's the black? There it is. Sweet. All right. So let's take it out first and then try to paint this thing. So it's got a few regions. Let's see. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. I did a trailer breakdown of uh, Genesis if you guys want to watch that. Um, but we're also going to be keeping up to date with all the news and everything. I assume there's going to be a few mysterious mysteries and stuff over the next few months before it launches because it's coming in like December. So yeah. Definitely cover more Genesis-related stuff when it is available. Uh, I think that's going to have to be our main color. Let's see. What's this region? Oh, did that not... Did that work? Did that... Okay. Okay, it's not working. Interesting. I don't, I don't know why. You, you don't seem to be able to paint it for some reason. They were able to paint it on the live stream. Let's see. Does that work? Oh, okay. So it is painted. It just didn't look like it was for some reason. That's weird. All right. Let's see. So I do believe that this region right here is the light, which we're probably going to want something bright as that. I don't want to use cyan. I want to use like white or silver or something. White is probably better. Uh, so... She can kind of like light up your way just a little bit. So that's going to be our light color. What's this right here? Uh, little spots there. And then we have there. Let's see. Black could go good there. And then we could use green here. All right. That, that might look good. Let's see. 
Bam. Awesome. So there it is. Oh, wow. That actually looks really cool. Will you just, like, stay still, please, for a second? <laughs> okay. Okay, it just keeps moving. I'm, I'm trying to look at you. Stop. Stay right there. All right. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oh, my God. Stop. Okay, let's just let it stop, and then we're going to turn towards it. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's just trolling me now. Uh, so, yeah, the different regions there, as you can see, like, uh, it looks as if if you paint this region right here, it kind of affects the interface a little bit. So I'm kind of curious. I almost kind of want to paint that like black or something. You know what? We'll leave it the way it is, actually. Let's go ahead and add those back in here. So, yeah, we've got our Helena bot. Actually, I want to also just test out and see what happens when I actually have a shield. Do I have any shields at all? Oh, yeah, perfect. I do. I have tons of them right here. So I can put that there. Now, I can put that on there. And it also seems to paint my shield depending on what color I have Helena painted. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure if I like that, to be honest. I think that's kind of a little bit annoying. I would like to see them actually add another slot eventually for Genesis, because the fact that it goes over your shield is kind of annoying, and I'm just going to assume that you can't paint, or you can't, like, put the Manticore skin uh, onto your shield and then also have her. So, yeah, I don't know. Not sure if I like that. What What happens when I do this? Huh. Interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's try and poop. Well, wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a little bit interesting. Can I throw the poop at her? Okay, that didn't do anything. I thought she'd have a reaction. Let's see. Uh, what can I do then? What are other things I could do? You know what? I'm going to see what happens when I die. So let's quickly go right up to the very top. And then let's just jump straight off. Let's jump off this way. Uh, let's jump right off here. We. Okay, so she didn't say anything there. Interesting. <laughs> I thought she'd say something. I'm like, I'm just falling to my death and she's not even talking to me. Jeez, all right. I want to also just see what happens when I tame a creature, if that does anything. Um, let's see. All right. Well, I'm going to... Where's my gravestone? There it is. Sweet. Let's go ahead and pop back on the armor and put her back on as well. Uh, so we can try and take... Oh, did you get, like, your color reset? Oh, that's dumb. Are you kidding me? Is that an actual thing? That's kind of annoying, guys. Uh, so when you die... It's, it's like a skin that's attached to your character, essentially. So when you die, it gets, it loses its color. That's really dumb. I don't like that. It almost makes me not want to even bother painting it anymore. Yeah, I don't like that. It's really annoying. All right, whatever. We, we can repaint it here in a minute. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that really quick. Oh, wait, no. My paints are over here. What am I doing? So I need one cyan, one green... Uh, one white and then black was up here. Cool. All right. Well, that's kind of annoying. It's, it'd be better if it was an actual like item or something that you like attach to your implant instead of like just a skin for your shield. I don't know. Oh, that looks cool. Hmm. Let's go with this though. Damn. All right. So did that not paint as cyan? Okay, so it did. That's really confusing. It didn't update. So really quickly, we're just going to go ahead and change it to nighttime. So, bam. Oh, you know what? We're kind of in the light here. So let's get somewhere where it's dark. Like over here. Whoa. So yeah, you can see it kind of like lights up the way just a little bit. This combined with like a light pet could actually brighten up your area. Like I don't have any gamma on right now. And it definitely just brightens up where i'm standing kind of useful actually yeah not too bad not too bad i guess to some extent that might give a little bit of an advantage to having one but i don't really think it's it's not really that bright so i don't really completely agree with that let's just set it back to daytime sweet all right so let's try and do some emotes here so um 
Let's start with these ones. So, is there going to be a good way for me to show? No, probably not. I wanted to see if I was able to show, like, what I'm doing and what Helena's doing. So, that's the friendly hand sign thing. Let's cheer. She didn't say anything that time. She gonna just say anything? Oh, there. <laughs> so sorry. Standing by. All right. So let's see. Does this do anything? No. You don't like that, Helena? No. Look at these muscles. No. Okay. I don't think uh, she's reacting to that at all. That's disappointing. Yeah, she doesn't react to any of these ones. Hello there. Okay. Not even this one? Okay. Well, that's kind of disappointing that she doesn't react to, like, the... The... Like, different uh, emotes that you can get from, like, achievements and stuff. Um, but she reacts to all the other ones, I guess, so... I feel like it might get a little bit annoying if you're just, like, AFKing and then you could just hear, like... Frickin' Tracer talking to you. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens when I do this. Boom. Look at her. Just flying behind me. Oh my god. Boom. <laughs> That's hilarious. What happens when I glide? Wow, it keeps up with you. Okay, I'm impressed. <laughs> Alright, so... I feel like we should try and tame a creature, so... I, do I have some darts on me? Uh, I have one inside of here. We, we're gonna need more, of course, so let's quickly just get down here and grab ourselves some darts. Okay. Okay. Don't die. What's happening? I don't even understand. Crap. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna try and get up here. What the hell? Okay. I thought there was like a weird foundation just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're good. Sweet. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, should probably try to bring Mystique with us. Grab an empty cryopod. And what else do I need? Darts. So I'm pretty sure I have just a few in here. Uh, ammo. Bam. All right, so that should be good. Uh, we could try and tame like a dodo or something. I just want to see if she reacts to it, really. Um... It's a cryopod. I wonder what happens when you mount a creature. Does she, like, fly with you alongside you? I feel like a lot of people will like it, and then I feel like a lot of people just won't want to use it because it might get in the way or be, like, a distraction or something. Okay, so it's kind of, like, sits... It, like, flies behind you a little bit there. I don't exactly know where it's gone right now. All right, what happens when I start swooping? Yeah, it can keep up with me relatively easily. <laughs> like a tiny little robot, but I guess Homodeus made it, so... <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I think it's a good idea having a little Helena bot coming along with you, because just in general, I think people really kind of got a little bit attached to her character, and, like, the fact that at the very end of Extinction... Like, she, you find out that she's been, you know, she's been a homodeus for a long time, and she doesn't, you know, really know who she is. She's not Helena anymore. So she obviously, like, programs her whole personality into this little thing right here. And, um, I don't know. It's, like, a good way of preserving the character and, and continuing to have that character in the series. Because I don't know if anybody knows this, but, you know, the female on the, like, art for arc? like the one riding on a raptor that is actually helena so well it's supposed to be i don't know if she looks very similar to what we saw in uh extinctions ending because you can see her face but yeah that's supposed to be her i imagine they probably look pretty similar i haven't seen them side by side at all so uh let's see dodos there should be some over here by the little beach thingy we'll see but yeah it keeps up with you it just kind of travels with you a little bit 
Um, in ex or not extinction in uh, what do you call it? The other place <laughs> in Genesis, uh, we should probably eventually have um, like Helena scanning things for us and doing all this stuff. Like, cause there won't be any explorer notes, so she's just gonna randomly start talking to you about things when you get to certain areas. I assume. Uh, so that's gonna be really cool. Honestly, I'm really excited for all of it. I really am, and I think this is honestly just a really cool addition. It would be a little bit better not being a skin, uh, because it, I feel like people aren't gonna want to paint it if the, you know, if you lose the paint when you die, but yeah, I, I mean, like, they have several months to actually work on it. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned how you actually get it, because not everybody's gonna have this. You have to buy the season pass, the new season pass. The Arc Genesis one. So the current, <laughs> she's talking to me. The current season pass gives you, like the first one gives you uh, Scorched, Aberration, and Extinction. Not these new DLCs that are coming out in December next year. Uh, so for those ones, you need to buy the Genesis season pass, which is kind of like the second season pass, like a new, a new season essentially. Um, I think everybody kind of like assumed that that was going to happen. It wouldn't have made sense for them to add new DLCs onto the current season pass because they're probably not going to sell any more of those. And, you know, wild cards, employees need money for their families to survive. So, yeah. Um, let's see. You are knocked out and almost dead. So, yeah, we, um, we definitely, like, if you, if you're surprised by the new season pass and having to pay again, then, I don't know, you need to, like, reconsider like, you probably don't know a whole lot about business then. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I see a lot of people complaining, and I just can't understand it. I mean, like, they're giving us brand new content. We've already paid for all of the other content. We're just getting more. So I, there's not really much to complain about right there. And I know, obviously, I make videos and do all this stuff. Like, my whole channel's based off of playing Ark and some other games, but mainly Ark. So... Obviously, I benefit greatly by them doing this type of stuff, but I would be saying this even if I didn't do videos. I honestly think it's the right move. Let's see. Is she going to make any noises? Wow, really? Nothing at all? Not even going to, like, say, wow. Like, Dodo, a bird-type Pokemon. How is that? Okay, for a second there, I was like, wait a minute. Why is it level 35? Because I was like, we're running difficulty 6. What's wrong? But, uh, nothing's wrong. Rip. So, um, yeah, so to get Helena, you need to buy that new season pass, and, uh, you get her now, essentially, if you do that. I don't know what's gonna happen if you don't buy the season pass. Like, I assume you probably won't get a Helena bot in the next DLC, or maybe it also comes with the DLC. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, because you're gonna need it on the map. And if you don't buy the season pass, then you don't get it. Maybe buying the season pass just gets you it early, I would assume. So yeah, um, I think that's that's probably all I got for you guys today. I don't really think it does anything else. Like, I could probably get a few more things from it, like... I can't poop again. What about now? No? Alright. I don't know, I could probably try and provoke a few more reactions from it. Maybe if I get damaged? Let's try that really quick. Let's try and get hit by something. Let's try and get hit by this trike. Alright, uh, what level are you? Oh. <laughs> okay, my bow is way too good. Alright, let's see. We gotta... We gotta find something to hit me. Let's see, there might be something down this beach. Stupid Quetzal. <laughs> I need to, like, throw that thing into the ocean. I don't know why Cheese keeps making willies on things. Like, it's... <laughs> I don't... I mean, like, maybe I'm missing something. I don't really find it funny anymore. <laughs> it's funny the first time. Now he's done it, like, 20 billion times, and... I don't know. God, I hope he stops it. I don't want to see any of that in Genesis. Let's see. Um... I don't want to get hit by Megalanias, because they could give me rabies. Is there, like, anything that could just hit me here? I assume she's going to react if I get hit. Um, I got like a massive list of all of the little uh, noises and stuff that she can make. I, I considered putting it all together into a video, but it just didn't really seem worth it. If I'm honest, it like, it's cool and all, but at the same time, like, it's just the same thing over and over, just slightly, just very slightly different. Um, like, it was like, 
three versions of the cheer like four versions of the laugh and stuff like that it was a little bit silly all right dung beetle can hit me There we go, yeah. Let's see. Come on, talk to me more. So she's not saying anything else. Oh, crap. Hello. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, so I assume she's just going to make a few little things, like if you take fall damage or something like that. She might make some noise. What is this? What on earth is this? Is somebody taming a rock elemental? I don't know why there's like a griffin flying here. Whose is this? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like flying here. Did I just see something up there? Okay, never mind. So, yeah, obviously somebody must have been taming a rock elemental around here um so yeah i think that's gonna be it for today we have the little helena bot i might continue to have it out with me all the time although i don't know i feel like it's gonna be much cooler with genesis and right now it's it's cool and all but it just feels like a distraction if i'm honest uh it is nice though like i like a little robot sidekick it would be cool if it like landed on your back or something and like clipped in i don't know i feel like that would be interesting but uh yeah that's gonna be it for today if you have enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the like button kind of a shorter one but i don't want to stretch it out at all because i mean hey it's not a whole lot to do uh but yeah if you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next one